Welcome back to Paying Attention for Bodybuilding into the New Age. Today I'm going to be going, doing a brief overview of my experience with Follistatin, Isoform 315, or FSH for short, in conjunction with Trimbalone and Nanthe. The total length of dosage I cycled uh, FSH 315 was one milligram concentration for 10 days with two milliliters of bacteria static solution giving me a dosage concentration of 100 micrograms per 200 milligrams of solution. Milliliters are the same as milligrams so if you have one milligram it's one milliliter and if you have 100 milliliters is 100 milligrams, so on and so forth. The vial shipped fast. I ordered it from Peptide Sciences. Uh, I think I got it in like three days. Um, after you've reconstituted it with bacteria static water, you can store it in the fridge so, or somewhere cool, and I'll have a shelf life of 28 days. The dosage recommendations are anywhere from 100 micrograms to 300 micrograms, depending on how low your natural follistatin levels are. Anywhere close to 1.5 milli IUs, you're at the low end of the reference range, so you would probably want to do 300 micrograms if you're near the higher end of the reference range, which most adults aren't, since it usually spikes from your pituitary gland and puberty. Uh, but let's say you are, and you're near that 12.4 milli IUs, then you're probably safe to use 100 micrograms. And that's what I ended up using. Maybe I'll up the dosage next time. But uh. Anyways, if you're brand new to the channel, feel free to check out my other video where I go a little more in depth into Follistat and 315 along with its added benefits and why I think it's the best ISO form out of the three main uh, peptides that people use for activin and myostan inhibition. I've cycled trend or trimbolone and anthate before, so I already have a baseline of what trend feels like, and I can personally speak to the effects of FSH 315 and uh, what it had on me personally. It seemingly boosted my recovery time. I didn't even have close to the muscle soreness that I had even right now, which I'm on close to 700 milligrams of trimbolone and anthate a week. And I can personally speak to uh, the fact that when I was on Alistan, that I did not have near the most soreness that I have now. The main function of Falastan in your body is to inhibit myostatin and activin, which are genes responsible for limiting muscular cell proliferation as a homeostatic limiter. So basically what that means is when you tear your muscles from micro tears or hypertrophy exercise, uh, myoblasts come in there and repair it and make it better and bigger. Activin and myostatin inhibit this from getting any bigger than your your natural biology is already pre-programmed for it to get, and so if you can block these activin and myostatin hormones from autocrinally changing your DNA, you can essentially take the reins off of your cell proliferation as far as muscle growth entails. However, unlike FSH344, which is the main peptide or isoform that people are familiar with. FSH315 has a faster secretion time 
so it won't sit in your subcutaneous tissue as long. It's also a longer peptide chain, which means it gives the air cells, more specifically your ribosomes and your endoplasmic reticulum, more uh, juice for them to uh, break down through hydrolysis um, or phosphorylation. As far as diet goes, I averaged 3,300 calories a day with an average basis of 321 carbohydrates, 254 grams of protein, and 67 grams of fat a day. Um, as far as my macros went, the carbohydrates were my main source of energy. I did cycle a few days off but the bulk of my diet was carb-centric. As far as diet goes, I gained a little under three and a half pounds over the course of 10 days. And you can see before and after in the picture, I lost fat and most of my gains were muscle. The increase in recovery time, as I mentioned before, was an added benefit. I can also comment on the two days in between where I missed doses. I felt dramatic increases in fatigue, which I believe was a direct result of the shorter secretion time and the half-life of Folistan or FSH 315. I'll be posting a more in-depth article on pain, the Pain Intention website for those of you that are interested in dosing or exogenously administrating Folistan 315 on your own. You don't need a prescription, it's just over the counter. You can buy it directly off the web and I'll ship to you wherever you have it sent to. So there's no red tape there. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in that, it'll be up on the website along with a few scientific studies and examples of how it creates uh, exponential muscle growth. And I'll put that down in the description below. This is Delon with Pain Intention, and I'll see you in the next video.